This is Dr. Jeffrey Whitman of the Key Whitman Eye Center in Dallas uh, demonstrating cataract surgery on a microphthalmic 17.6 millimeter eye. This was a case binocularly in the patient and uh, as you can see there's synechia that needed to be broken with uh, the viscoelastic cannula. But the pupil is already quite small and with this shallow chambered eye I wanted uh, all the room to operate possible so I elected to put a uh, Oasis pupil expander in. I put some uh, Alcon Viscovisc in first and then through a 2.2 millimeter incision the uh, Oasis expander is uh, inserted. More uh, viscoelastic is instilled to uh, give us a little more room here. And the uh, placement device, which is uh, similar to uh, the end of a uh, Sinsky, is used to uh, place each corner of the expander over the pupillary margin. kind of holds it like a little U-shaped envelope. And as I noticed some shallowing, more uh, viscoelastic is instilled. And one more corner to uh, engage. Use a corner wand to help disengage the uh, insertion device and uh, now under viscoelastic uh, I have a nice big pupil to be able to perform a uh, circular tear capsulotomy. This patient was a 68-year-old uh, female uh, who had been obviously uh, very highly hyperopic her whole life. Now making grooves and, port and uh, performing uh, some chop chopping to uh, divide the nucleus into uh, sections. We're using the uh, Bausch and Lomb Stellaris mix handpiece to perform the uh, phaco emulsification. In addition to the uh, small eye, uh, the patient had quite a dense nucleus. Uh, I continually re-added viscoelastic to help protect the corneal endothelium. Prior to starting irrigation, irrigation aspiration, uh, Occucote was instilled into the anterior chamber, again for a little protection without inhibiting the uh, removal of cortex.
Now I'm inserting a 40 diopter Alcon MA60 AC lens. This is the highest power available in the US today. I did tell the patient that she could go out of the country for a lens that would be uh, that would fully correct her hyperopia, but she could not afford to do this. The lens positioned nicely. And at uh, two weeks, the patient was 2060 uncorrected. Now I remove the uh, Oasis expander and uh, just using a little collar button and push-pull technique, it comes right out. Very simple. I perform irrigation aspiration for viscoelastic removal under the lens and over the lens. Found a little extra piece of cortex there. Lens looks well positioned. I'll hydrate the wounds. Uh, these are Wong type incisions, so I hydrate a Wong over the main incision and the paracentesis and finish the surgery.